Hello guys, so this is the Redmi Note 11 and in this video I'll show you how to customize your phone using the Musantara OS Android 13 Okay, you can use this tutorial on the Redmi Note 11 and Note 11 NFC Okay, the space and the space and all the files and steps I will include in my blog I will put the link in the description box Okay so just a quick review this rom is quite good enough as usual better than the stock rom i feel very fast so there is no lag small footprint and other stuff okay so stay tuned and check it out Hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Tombop This time we have a Redmi Note 11 And today I will show you how to customize this one using the Nusantara OS on Android 13 Okay, in this previous video I have shown you how to customize using the Android 12 Now Android 13, okay, basically it's the same step Okay, first thing I want to show you is the S18 system You can see right here, we are using the Mi Global 13.0.7 on Android 11 okay <clears throat> and I have unlocked the pawn you can see right here so unlock is a must so you have to wait seven days to unlock this pawn okay because there is no instant well in this pawn yet okay now make sure you have room for emails and other stuff uh, now let's turn off the pawn because we want to go to the fast boot mode okay. <clears throat> as usual this boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time until you see the fast boot mode screen okay let's wait okay like this so now it's in the fast boot Okay, plug USB cable and now let's switch the screen now for the next step we need to boot it into the custom recovery so like usual just type the command fast boot space boot and we're going to use the therapy 3.6.1 by D blank okay correct it to D blank just hit enter and it will boot okay <clears throat> And for the other step, and all the steps and file I will provide in my blog. The, the link I will put it in the description box. Okay. And for the other step, you can see right here. Same as the Android 12, we need to create a folder that call MFV. Okay. Let's switch the screen again. And here we go, now we are in the custom recovery. The first thing you want to do is always make a backup. Okay, so go to the backup. Go to the option tab, enable compression for a smaller size. And we're going to backup the FS and modem. Okay, select storage. We'll put it there, make RSD and let's rename the file. Spation. Space. Okay, done. Swipe it. <clears throat> and then for the next step, let's do this again. <clears throat> and first thing you need to do is create a folder that call MFP. Okay. Put it in the I will put it in the macro HD right here. And where is it? <clears throat> this is my MFP folder. Okay, just create the folder right here. Then, uh, in the custom ROM, okay, we already put it in here, the Lucentara 5.1 and Ray and rename the file to the, rename the file to ROM zip. Okay, rename, space it. 
<clears throat> okay and we also need to and the FA stable right here okay so we already have the two files okay okay and then let's fix the screen again okay now let's go to the install menu right here and where you have the mfp folder and here we go <clears throat> so we have the mfp zip and the rom zip okay so select the mfp zip and swipe it <clears throat> and we'll wait okay it will automatically flash the custom rom when it finish it will also automatically reboot to the custom recovery again okay so it takes time the size is more than one gigabyte okay so and it also already included the gaps so you don't need to press the gaps again and i will skip this one you can see right there now it's counting down and it's automatically reboot the pawn back to the custom recovery okay <clears throat> and the next step we need to format the data and as usual let's went wipe okay uh let's set the brightness again okay and now let's go to the wipe menu right here format data tap yes okay <clears throat> then go back back again this time it goes to the advanced wipe i'll select the the alphic metadata and data okay the alphic metadata and data okay swipe it and now just hit reboot system okay for you guys that want to use mages you can install mages after the pawn reboots into the system okay uh, after that you go to the custom recovery again and flash the mages okay you can see right there now it boots into the santaro s and i will skip this one and we'll continue to make a quick review about this rom Okay, hello guys so this is our redmi note 11 and now it's using the android 13 on Nusantara os okay <clears throat> so in this section i will make a quick review about this rom if it's quite good enough or not for the driver or if there are any bug or not okay <clears throat> so let's get started first thing i want to test is the email usually you guys question about the email uh wi-fi and other stuff okay let's check it let's check the email and you can see right there we have a secure email so there is no problem with the email okay nice and also you can see right here i have wi-fi connected so no problem with the wi-fi and next let's test gps it's quite fast <clears throat> and okay it needs to calibrate but the overall is it's is in my location so it seems that there is no problem okay next let's test the camera it seems that we don't have any camera in this part <laughs> okay i think the developer forgot to Flash the camera in here, but it's not a big deal. I can always flash the camera. Okay, let's try to flash the open camera for this one. And here we go. I have installed open camera and let's test taking a picture. Okay, and also record the video. Okay, I will take a picture and I will show you the result. Okay, now I'm taking a picture and now i am recording 
Okay, hello guys. So this is cord using the back camera, and I will stop this one. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to take a picture from the front camera. Okay, it's quite uh, sharp the color. Okay, let's take a picture and then record the video. Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording using the front camera and I will stop this one. Okay, now let's check the result and seems that we don't have any gallery. <laughs> so I have uh, to install manually. And here we go, I already downloaded this in Chrome and let's install the apps. Okay. Okay, so this is the result. This is the result from the back camera, quite sharp enough. And this is the result of the front camera. Okay, quite nice. Let's check the video result. Okay, guys, so this is. Okay, nice. The sound is quite loud enough. Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording this in the front camera. Okay, nice. So the camera is working, the front and the back camera for taking a picture also and record the video. And I don't see any problem with the sound because sometimes you will have a small voice, but uh, I don't see in here. So, quite good enough. And and let's check the other stuff. You can see right here it has a new display. And we have a uh, power button menu right here, and you can also as always uh, customize the widget right here. Okay, let's check the menu. It's quite simple, and <clears throat> it's quite fast enough. I don't feel any lag in here. Okay, let's go to the developer options, and you can see we have. Uh, average 2.5 gigabytes average in reuse so we have 5.9 left okay this is using the 128 gigabyte okay so quite decent enough uh, now let's check the uh, what are the stuff the storage okay you can see right here it takes about just 1.1 gigabyte okay quite small enough Okay. And we have also have radio and other stuff. Okay, let's check the IDC4, go to the CPU. And you can see the CPU range is between 300 and 2.5 gigahertz. Okay, quite fast enough. Nice. Okay. You can see right here, I don't feel any lag. It's quite fast. So there is no problem with the ROM. And I think it's better than the stock ROM as always. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So for the verdict, I think uh, the ROM is quite good enough for the driver. So we already test the camera. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Let's try to test the YouTube for sound and video playback. Okay. Okay, nice guys. I don't see any problem while playing the video and music. So the sound and video playback is play very well. Okay, so now for the verdict. <clears throat> the image is safe, the Wi-Fi is working, the card is working, the GPS is also working. And the camera for taking picture and record video from the back and front camera also. We have no problem. Besides, we don't have a default camera in here. <laughs> so maybe you can always install Geekam for best result. And then the sound and video playback also play very clearly, picture and the sound. Okay, I think 
It's wrong. It's quite good enough for the driver. There is no major bug on the major feature. Okay. So you decided, and you should try it. Okay, that's all, guys. This is a tutorial on how to customize your Android Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 using Nusantara OS Android 13. And I hope you like my video. If you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have lots of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun. Okay, especially Xiaomi, Samsung, Realme. Asus and other stuff, okay. Uh, you can find in my video, maybe some of the video will be useful for you. Okay, guys, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video. And that's all. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.